Howdy, I'm Dr. Erin McGinty and I'm out here today fishing for squid in central Queensland. So you might be wondering what I'm doing holding a rod because I'm more known for being underwater. But I'm here today to give anglers an idea of what's actually going on below the surface and how different species are acting around different environments. Squid are a popular target for recreational fishing because they're fun to catch, delicious, and they're also excellent bait for other fish species. Oh, we've got one on. So you don't need to pump and wind when you get a squid on. Just keep that constant pressure on the squid jig. Wind him in slowly. Probably let him ink out of the boat. Squid are one of the ocean's most plentiful organisms in biomass, making them a really sustainable species to target. So you see here the squid have got a whole lot of cells that contain pigments called chromatophores and they can expand or contract those cells with their muscles and display different colours. So that's how they use it to camouflage and to hide from predators. Squid have a really highly developed nervous system similar to that of fish. So you want to make sure that you put them out of their misery or dispatch of them quite quickly. So ways to do that is to put them on a cold ice flurry um, and then you can basically spike them or you can spike them now in between the eyes is the best spot. You'll find a little hard patch. So I'm just going to get him straight onto a cold ice slurry just to slow down that central nervous system. Yum! And there's an easy way to catch a really tasty thing. Go check them out. Vision is what regulates schooling behaviour in squid. See that when the squid see me underwater, they form a tight school. So they see me as a predator and they school up to try and protect themselves. You also see schooling behaviour when a lure is moving through the water and the squid school together to target that prey. The problem with trying to film these squid is that they have such excellent eyesight, which they need for hunting in their environment. These tiger squid, they have two eyes which are positioned on the sides of their heads which gives them a really wide field of view and they can move these eyes independently. But the problem with that is as soon as I enter the water, they can see me and so there's no hiding from squid. What I actually found then is we were using the squid jig before and not quite dropping it down to the bottom and jerking it. So the squid, what that means is squid are finding that squid jig on the surface from in about eight meters of water. So interesting to know about how they're hunting and that they're sitting on the bottom and being able to see that squid jig up on the surface. So actually jigging it up on the surface was more beneficial than the squid jig sinking to the bottom. What this means for anglers is that when you're reeling that lure in, you are potentially attracting a whole lot of squid in to school around that lure. And that's why you generally catch squid in numbers. Usually when you catch one, you'll catch quite a few. So you really see how important squid eyesight is in their hunting capabilities underwater. So really important when you're casting lures, just to cover a whole lot of ground, because squid could definitely be in an area, but you just need to find a rough area where they are, where they'll have a line of sight of that squid jig. So hopefully we've given you some insight on where to find squid and what their locations look like in their habitats. Also how important their eyesight is in their hunting techniques. So there's a little glimpse at squid behaviour underwater. Time to get home and pick up some of these squid. 